Rotang Jitmanan is a name that strikes fear into the hearts of his opponents. He puts on devastating technical brawls and challenges goats in special rule bouts. But behind the ferocity and ruthless aggression that he brings to the ring lies a fascinating story of struggle, dedication, and spiritual awakening. Rotang was born in Thailand in 1997 and grew up in poverty. As a child, he had to work odd jobs just to help support his family. He started training Muay Thai when he turned 7, and he took his first professional fight at just 10 years old. This was to earn money for himself and his family. Rotang moved to Bangkok at the age of 14 so he could train at the renowned Jip Manan Gym. He quickly compiled 250 wins by the time he was just 21. He now has had over 300 fights, earning 270 victories, and he's only 25 years old. In 2019, Rotang signed with One Championship, one of the premier combat sports organizations in the world. He quickly made a name for himself winning a Muay Thai title in just his fifth fight, which was against Jonathan Haggerty. The two of them put on a fight of the year contender in a back and forth barn burner, a fight that put both Rotang and Haggerty on a lot of people's radars. Life then gave Rotang the toughest challenge he had faced thus far, except this time, it was outside of the ring. Rotang's father was diagnosed with stage three cancer. Due to this, his father's timeline was uncertain. It moved Rotang to do something he had prevented up until this point, allowing his parents to watch him fight. Rotang brought his parents to watch him live for the first time in his highly anticipated rematch against his toughest opponent yet, Jonathan Haggerty. With his parents in the crowd, which gave him extra motivation, Rotang absolutely demolished Haggerty with vicious body shots. Rotang's father has since beat cancer, and in a heartwarming turn of events, Rotang recently bought his parents a brand new home, something he never would have dreamed to be possible back when he was taking odd jobs as a child. Rotang then accumulated a mind blowing 10 fight win streak and started becoming a fan favorite due to his violent style. Rotang means army tank, and American fans started calling him Rod Tank because of his Terminator-like ability to take shots and continue walking down his opponents. He continually invites jaw-dropping exchanges and seemingly isn't affected by big shots that are landed on him. He even has a signature shimmy that he does when his opponents land on him, only to continue moving forward. Imagine you land a massive head kick and the guy just smiles at you. Rotang has terminated his way through every opponent he has faced, which led him to take on a once in a lifetime challenge. In 2020, 1FC made a special rules bout between Rotang and arguable MMA GOAT Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. They would alternate between Muay Thai rules and mixed martial arts rules each round, the first round being Muay Thai. This was the first time that Rotang was put in the limelight to North American fans. But Rotang was undeterred and put on a masterful display of striking, ultimately losing the fight, but showcased his skills to the rest of the world. In the first round, he had DJ on his back foot the entire time, where he was trying to evade massive shots being thrown his way by Rotang. Rotang's willingness to go up against a fighter considered to be one of the best in the world was a testament to his skill, determination, and fearlessness. But it's not all savagery. Rotang makes a point to honor each and every opponent, regardless of any pre-fight drama. Rotang once said, In addition to the brutal battle, we must honor our opponents as teachers we respect. This duality is something that allows fans from all walks of life to connect with Rotang as a fighter and a person. To take that one step further, despite all his success, Rotang felt that something was missing in his life. He decided to pursue personal growth and enlightenment by becoming a Buddhist monk just 10 days after a violent performance against Jidu Yibu. He then spent the next 15 days living in a Buddhist temple, practicing rituals, daily prayers, and giving back to his community. Despite this peaceful journey, while he was in the temple, 1FC decided to schedule two upcoming title fights for him. One as a challenger for the kickboxing title, and one to defend his Muay Thai title. 
Rotang was scheduled to face Superlick Ketmu Khan in a highly anticipated fight, but unfortunately got injured and had to withdraw from the bout. This was a very interesting matchup because it could be argued that Superlick is a more technical fighter than Rotang and has more accolades. But if there's any style that can bridge a potential gap in technique, it's Rotang's. These two have been scheduled to fight multiple times before, and Superlick's highlight reel victory over Daniel Williams leaves us all wondering, what if? Will we ever get to see these two go against each other while they're in their primes? For now, us fight fans will still get to see Rotting defend his Muay Thai belt against Edgar Juarez Tabares on May 5th. 1FC is having their first ever event on US soil when it comes to Denver, Colorado for One Fight Night 10. One Championship wants to make an impact in this new market, and can you think of a better fighter to bring with him than Rotang? Fans everywhere are going to be in for a treat, as Rotang always delivers excitement. At this point, he should absolutely be a household name. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. This is our first video essay that we've done. If you want to see more videos like this from us, please leave a comment, let us know, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel. It really goes a long way and will let us know to keep making videos like this one in the future. Thanks.